Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. And if you're here because of Psy Cat, you can go eat a bag of dicks. Now, when we left off, we had, well, we had attempted to make our way into Hinata Estate. Uh, we did pretty good until uh, we stopped doing good. Uh, I hit a certain point where I uh, just couldn't get any further. And uh, very, very quickly realized that uh, there's a lot of, a lot of things in my way before I can even get close to uh, finishing this area. So I'm going to attempt to run it again. Being as sneaky as I possibly can. With that in mind. Akos, or Akos? Iko? I, I don't fucking know. Akos, sugar, uh, boosts attack power for a time. Hmm. Spirits embody excess karma. Hmm. Must endure what has been brought to pass. I like that. Okay. Is there a way I can? Eavesdrop on them? Maybe? I don't know. Hard to tell. Well, this might be the only way I can make an attempt in taking out the uh, real asshole. Which would be the uh, bowman. So, here's hoping this works out the way I envision it to. Uh, not, probably not really. Yep, not really. Oh, hey, it worked. It did. Okay. Good to know. That actually worked the way I wanted it to. Hi there. I uh, guess you're coming the way you want. Okay. I expected a little bit more of a fight from you. Guess not. That's fine though. Oh. Probably. Beautiful. And. Perfect. That went far better than I could have hoped. Also, I keep forgetting that doing that attack knocks me out of sneak, so I really, really have to be mindful of that. Just full of ash, huh? Well, there's them, anyway. I think I saw another person over there. Did... Did that body just go up in the air just to then fall and die again? <laughs> That's a little silly. Alright, well. Duly noted. Sometimes the engine does that little maneuver. It's kind of funny. Alright. Let's see, is there anything else? Nope. Not that way. Uh, there we go. Burning this temple next for? No. Leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I saw it last got so sick. Well, I mean... At least you know your skull is thick. Uh, now, at the very least. And at least they do have some honor in that they're not willing to take from Buddha. 
probably that's so they don't uh, invoke any justifiably righteous rage upon them. But that ain't gonna stop me from doing it. Ah, ow! Fuck you! Fuck off! Fuckers! Ow! Ow! Okay. I'm dead as shit. <laughs> Alright. I, uh, wasn't... I wasn't on him like I thought I would be. Okay. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted. A little less stupidity on my end. Sheesh. Okay. Um... Whoops. And... I can't believe you let me get that close, man. Just standing there, waiting to die. Come on, man. Jesus. Every time. Every time. All right. And... For you. Oh. Well. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. Worked out a little better than that at all. I tried to use the shuriken there. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, I died to a chicken. Suck my ass. Come on, give me... Give me unseen aid. Please, give me unseen aid. I have 30%. This is three deaths. Oh. Half of skill experience and sin are lost upon death, but there is a way to avoid this on rare occasions. Through the unseen aid of gods and Buddha, one may be spared this loss. The chances of receiving unseen aid can be seen in the pause menu, which I have seen multiple times and I sat there wondering why I wasn't getting it. 30%. One in three. There we go. Fuck you. Alright. Whee! Ah, oh, fuck off. Fuck off with that. Alright, let's try this again. I can't believe I died to a goddamn chicken. A goddamn chicken! Of all things! God damn it. Alright. Let's go back. And whoop. Nothing. Really? Ah. Oh. Thought I had gotten all of that. Guess not. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try and... Okay. Gonna ledge hang. Maybe get a little closer to them before I do this maneuver. Whoops. Oh! I didn't realize. Okay. There we go. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Got you. Uh oh. 
All right, well. Uh, let's try it this way. go. Just slightly better than fucking bad. Uh, man. Dowsing powder. Okay. Whoops. Well, I mean, I don't need to go after these guys, so let's not. But I do kind of want a little revenge against those chickens. So, uh, fuck you. Whoop. That was not what I expected. All right. go. And... Whoop! There we go. Fuck you, Mr. Chicken. Fuck you. Alright. And... I'm gonna go after this chicken. And... Fuck you! There we go. Perfection! I think that was the best I've gotten ever. Alright. So let's... Fix this. So that doesn't happen again. Oh, shut up. Fuck you. Trying to learn other people. Suck my ass. You're coming whether I want you or not, I guess. Alright, well. Come at me then. Oh, you fucker. You fucker, that's not... I shouldn't say that's not fair. This is a FromSoft game. It doesn't really matter what's fair. But, come on, man. Bullshit. What is in here? There it is. Heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi. Can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Hmm. That's interesting to learn. This is where we came from. That's right. Forgot for about a half second. Alright. Uh, let's go after you. And jump. And kill! Goodbye. Uh, forget about that for a second. And uh, go this way for a little bit. Oh, hi there. Oh, fuck off with that. Oh, boy. Okay. I am ready for any fire that's coming at me. That's what that means. Okay. 
Okay, that was a weird hitch, but all right. Um, healing board. Oopsie doopsie. That's what I wanted. What the fuck, really? There we go. Jesus. Don't know why that was so difficult. Alright, so... Whoop. Fuck you. There we go. Okay, fuck you. Fuck off. How are you so drunk that you don't even notice that I killed the guy behind you? You're fucking stupid, guy. Alright. That could have gone worse. That could have gone far, far worse. Considering. And you're still alive. Those. Hello. Demons, please. And he dies again. Okay. So that's a thing. Um, and we kill you. Okay. Cool and yeah. Alright. Some dowsing powder, which I don't need. Whee! Oh, this guy, that's right. I remember now. Okay. This guy. Alright. Ow. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Uh, I just suck against those guys, and I don't know why. We can coax them out one at a time, no? No, they go as a unit, so that's not a method I can use. A little bit of an opening on him. There we go. At least I don't have to deal with stamina. Ow. Fuck you. God damn it. Ow. Fuck you. That's my answer to you. Fuck bag. All right. Oh, joy. All right, we got one of them. I'm going to try and brute force them as much as I can. Okay. Okay, I can run around him. That's kind of useful. That is very useful. Why didn't I try that before? I, I 
absolutely should have tried that before. What am I stupid? The answer is yes, obviously. And we don't kill you like this. Oop, okay. Whee! Oh, he's still gonna aim at me, isn't he? Yep! That's exactly what he's doing. Jump up over that. That's a little annoying. All right. Well. Where is the other guy? Oh, they're right over there. All right. Duly noted. Gonna try and sneaky, 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 sneak. Taking candy from a baby. Oh boy. Oh, he has two. He has two. That's gonna make it difficult. Closer there, bud. Okay. Oh, jeez. Fuck off. Die. Countering thrust attacks. Thrust attacks cannot be blocked, but they can be deflected. The Mikiri counter skill also counters thrust attacks. Which I do have unlocked. Okay. Fuck off. Oh, status abnormality is great. Okay. Ow. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I knew I was going to get my shit rocked eventually. There we go. Really? Fuck off. Fuck you, guy. There we go. All right. Oh! Shinobi Hunter. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. There we go. Fuck you. Prayer bead. Alrighty. Okay. Mibu Possession Balloon. A maple balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing of fortune. One pops this vibrant green Mebo balloon and prays there those who <laughs> those who are splashed upon by its water. There we go. I can make that sentence work. Uh, we'll have a higher chance of obtaining items. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Hey! Yippee! <laughs> Alrighty. Sculptor's idol found. Uh, I should probably rest here, if anything. Uh, but with that other guy, it's probably not a good idea. Acquire skills? I have a lot of points now. Um, whirlwind Slash. Huh. Latent skill... 
increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Uh, that's not really... Allows one to guard against attacks or deflect enemy attacks in midair. That would be kind of nice. Huh. Run and slide. Allows one to slide into a crouch position while sprinting. This maneuver easily deceives an enemy's eyes. Huh. End to sprint by sliding, which puts you in a crouched position. That seems like a good thing to get. Suppress presence. And I have enough points for that. Oh, what do we got? Shinobi eyes. Increases the damage inflicted to posture upon executing a successful Mikri, Mikri counter. A shinobi's eyes, eyes. A shinobi's eyes do not follow the blade without anticipating its movements. Remaining composed even when fearful of its sharp edge is the key to victory. And suppress sound. Oh, that's even better. A latent skill that suppresses movement noise by inhibiting an enemy's ability to hear it. Moving in silence is part of what defines a shinobi. Fair enough. Vault over. A shinobi martial art that allows one to leap over and behind a posture broken enemy. This martial arts technique allows the use of backstab death blows in the middle of battle, even without using stealth. Cool. On a posture broken enemy. Huh. Eventually. Eventually I'll get that. For now, though, I should probably rest, get my health back, other things. Okay. Just spirit emblems. I don't really need to. Don't really need to. Um. Just to uh, make sure. Does that guy come back? That particular guy? No, he doesn't. Shinobi Hunter does not come back. Okay. Well, I managed to beat him, so there's that. Let's go, uh, let's go back to the uh, dilapidated temple, then. Oh, that's also in the Ashina outskirts. Good to know. And uh, get those Shinobi tools attached. In case it wasn't clear while I was doing the running around portion around those shielded enemies, it's kind of hard to control. That's why you might have noticed that it, I was just kind of darting back and forth in ways that didn't make sense. Uh, it was fairly difficult to make sure that it was where I wanted to go. So, uh, there's that. Hi there. So, you're back. Was yes, I am. A dream? Or was it real? Mm -hmm. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The okay. great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. Huh. Alright. I guess I get it. Kind of. Okay, flame vent. From the flame barrel. Prosthetic tool made from a loaded flame barrel. Cost spirit emblems to use. Deals fire damage to enemies via a short range blast of fire. So that's when you can use the oil. Hmm. It is difficult to control the rage of those with the red eyes through the power of man alone. They do, however, fear the flame above all else. This tool has the power to make them tremble. All right, let's add that on. And the prosthetic tool loaded with a heavy shinobi axe. The strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. Sounds like a good idea to me. The Shinobi right. prosthetic. 
Appears you've taken to it quite well. A bit. Here, this is for you. Prosthetic esoteric text. So it'll teach you how to use it. Cool. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. Is this about the sculptor? It sounds like it's about the sculptor. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. Hmm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again, but it seems I was wrong. Good to know. No matter what I do, any okay, Buddha so still, is the fool under tow. Still with that line. Okay. All right. I got that about as well done as I can get it. Is there any... Okay, I can't upgrade anything. I can't fit any more tools. I fitted all the ones I can. Another time, then. I'll lend you shelter any time. Sounds good to me. Cycle equipped prosthetic tools. Oh, I didn't equip them. <laughs> That's why it's not working. Okay. Uh, loaded axe and loaded, uh, rather the uh, flame vent. Cool. And... Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So it just pops them out as you need them. Not much that you see there. Oh, it's on the inside. It's on the inside of the wrist. Okay. And this is us on the elbow. And then that's on the forearm. Kind of. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Good to know. I think I might use the loaded axe more than anything. Because that seems the coolest Talk to Emma. Hmm. What is it? As I thought. The difference is slight, and I can only see it from up close. What is it? Dragon's blood stagnation. I believe you're showing its symptoms. Stagnation? Dogen, my mentor, spoke of it once. The power of the dragon's heritage stagnates if the one who uses it dies repeatedly. All when right, all right, all right. built up too much. It overflows. What happens when it overflows? Diseases spread, apparently. I hope this is just me being unnecessarily cautious. But if you should notice anything alarming... Yes, I'll come see you. Alrighty. Well, anything else alarming, I will go talk to her. In the meantime, is there any way I can practice some of these new moves with our buddy here? It's you. You may mm -hmm. use me to hone your swordsmanship, if you like. Undying Samurai Training Mikri Counter. Hanbei the Undying. Let's, let's that do case, a little bit of that. I stand as your opponent. Sounds good to me. A shinobi can perceive incoming thrust attacks and counter them by stepping on the enemy blade. Known as Mikri Counter... This is a powerful, if risky, move that deals more posture damage than a regular deflect. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. Again. I have to do it just as it lands. Face me okay. again. Fuck. Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful. I expected no less of you. Thank you. I do appreciate it. This temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal. Sounds good, man. Anything good? Up, oh, empty. Damn it. I was hoping, I was hoping there might be something, but no. 
no pellets whatsoever. I, I call shenanigans. I should have some pellets left. Urgh. I call shenanigans. Okay, consume prayer beads to increase max vitality and posture. Don't have enough yet. Acquire skills. Purchase. Can't purchase nothing. Um. Sure, let's look into this. Chasing Slice, a shinobi martial art that allows one to perform a forward dashing sword slice after using certain prosthetic tools, allowing one to close distance on enemies instantly. You can do it with the loaded shuriken, and there's two other tools that you don't have yet? Or at least I don't have yet? Hmm. Grappling Hook Attack. Uses a grappling hook to launch oneself at an enemy and uses that momentum to perform a rolling sword attack. The shinobi prosthetic is the perfect tool for combining movement and attack into one, ensuring no movement is wasted. RB during grappling hook movement. Use the forward momentum of your landing to perform a powerful sword attack. I... kinda wanna... Kind of want to have that, but I don't know when I'm going to use it. Ah, screw it. I have the points. Or I have the point. Might as well. Alright. So. We have managed to... At least clear most of the uh, Hinata estate. Uh, with... The more deaths than I really care to admit. But it could be worse. So there's that. But, uh... Yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Wait, almost forgot something. Shout out to SVS for subscribing to the Patreon and donating quite a bit of money, enough to get a shout out in each video. So, congrats, man. Thank you for the support, and I do appreciate it. And to all of those who come here from SciCat, y'all can suck my ass. Anyway, this has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to make our way through the game. And uh, my cockiness is getting to me. <laughs> but I am still managing to do it uh, at a decent pace, I think, uh, if I remember where I'm supposed to be going. Which I don't really know. I was fading in and out of the streams, so I was kind of unaware of what things had to be done. I'm figuring it out as I go along. For you!